Thank you, Madam Toastmaster. Fellow Toastmasters and guests, warm good evening to all of you. Like they say in Georgia, it never that the sun never shines. It's always um, uh, overcast, and you don't have any stars. That's that. That's probably the reason why I haven't I've been called a star these days. <laughs> Fellow Toastmasters. Let me introduce you to uh, this pretty exciting game of just a minute. Most of those masters came and asked me, what is this jam all about? And, and I had to explain that the, the jam was an abbreviation for the just a minute game. How many of you are aware of this just a minute game? A show of hands? Not many. That's good. Well, just a minute game as as the, the name itself says, it's, it's a speaking game. The game where a person speaks for one minute as fluently as possible, without a hesitation, without deviating from the subject, without deviating from the truth, and without making a mistake in what he says, whether the English language or whether the content of what, he's, of what he speaks. It all shows how confident you are and what command you have over your speech. Very, very exciting for a person not knowing what the topic is, without have, having any preparation whatsoever and just start and when, when, when the moderator says, speak now, you got to start immediately. Start thinking as, as you speak. Very interesting. And the moment somebody makes a mistake, he will be challenged by the remaining participants in that game. Everybody challenges for whatever he thinks is wrong, and the moderator then approves the first, the first right challenge, and that person who has won the challenge would continue to speak on that same topic for the remainder of the time. The total time for one topic is one minute. So at the end of one minute, the timer bangs the gavel, and the person who's speaking at that at that point when the when the minute ends would gain a point. There are various points that the speakers gain throughout this entire minute while challenging, while being challenged, and while speaking as well. I'll explain the the point system. When a speaker speaks for 10 seconds, he gets one point. For every 10 seconds he speaks, he gets a point. A speaker who speaks at the gavel, when the gavel strikes, he gets an additional point. If a speaker speaks for the entire minute without being challenged, now that's something fantastic. Without being challenged, if a speaker speaks for the entire minute, he gets 10 points. Anybody who challenges a correct challenge which is accepted gets one point. A challenge for hesitation is one point. A challenge for a deviation gets two points. And a bonus point for being humorous, for being articulate, uh, for being uh, or having an, uh, an intriguing story within your speech, the scorer will give an additional point to that person. A challenge which is rejected would then give a bonus point to the speaker who was being challenged, and he then continues to speak. Three reasons why you were challenged. One is for a hesitation. One is for a repetition of speech, whether it's a word, whether it's a syllable, whether it's a phrase, a sentence, an idea. Repetition would be challenged. And a deviation, deviation from the topic, deviation from the truth, or deviation from the, the Queen's English. You would be challenged for all these reasons. Remember, speaking without interruption, speaking without any break in your speech is the key. And that's what we are out to uh, achieve over here. So is that fairly simple, fa fairly well understood by all the audience? Yeah. I'll, I'll just assume that you understood it. <laughs> Sorry? Okay. Let's, let's bring in the participants over here first to the speed, to, to the table. Can I have a certain announcement to get us six chairs, please? The first contestant is Toastmaster Philip Oven.
Now, have you ever seen the contestant bring, bring their own chair to the, to the, to the dais? <laughs> the next contestant is Toastmaster Vijay, you can come back. Toastmaster Richa. Toastmaster Sham, you can bring your chair as well. We have uh, Toastmaster Suresh Kumar. And Toastmaster Jacob here. And we have Toastmaster Jacob. Now just to give just to give us a, a demo on how this hey, uh, can I can I request you to uh, sit sit in a V because my name is Vasudha V for Vasudha. Can I say? Suddenly I can't take on this Really 